Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett's Venomices. <laughs> uh, today, I am celebrating my 28th birthday with a party. Yay! Yay! Uh, it's actually not my birthday when you see this, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm actually going to go get a bottle of CBS because it's released on my birthday and review it on my birthday and post and post it on my birthday as a both birthday special. It's on the 15th. But we're having the party today. The guys are over. Brett bought a beer, brought a beer to review. And this is none other than the Magic Rock Bearded Lady Dessert Edition. What the fuck? This came to Denmark. That's really awesome. Yep. This was one of the heavy hitters at NBCC a few years ago. It was especially brewed for NBCC. And this is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with chocolate, vanilla, and cinnamon. Uh, malts are Golden Promise, Malted Oats, Chocolate Malt, Black Malt, Brown Malt, Premium English Caramel Malt. And the hops are T90 pellets of Magnum and Whole Leaf, Hercules, and Target. And then they use coconut, cinnamon, and vanilla. And White Labs 001, which I think is the American Ale or West Coast Ale Yeast or something like that. And it's 10.5% alcohol. So, I'm looking forward to this. Dude. Yeah, it's this going, going to be, fun. be very interesting. Pour is a pretty black color. There is yeah. a little bit of a ruby reddish yeah. brown tone in the bottom of That's the bottom there. Nice head. Really yep. nice brown yeah. mocha color. Like yeah. it looks like so a smooth. mocha head. Yeah. Really, really nice. Oh, I can smell cinnamon yeah. from here. It looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. Yep. Oh, a cho uh, chocolate coffee. Green coffee bean. It has like really green, green, green coffee. coffee bean. Vanilla. I'm almost getting like a peanutty thing for yep. some reason. Like an earthiness. Yeah. Vanilla it chocolate. It smells like almost, almost like a peanut butter or something. Mm -hmm. It's actually not a cinnamon forward as I remember though. No. But I think the earthiness can <laughs> earthiness earthiness can also be the cinnamon. Yeah, because cinnamon can can have this kind of uh, earthy note. I think. Mhm. Mm yeah, it smells very nice. Yep. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's really chocolatey. Oh, and bourbon and cinnamon. That's really nice. It's kind of like Mexican inspired, but yeah. without the chili. The cinnamon is is uh, oh, that's really nice. more kind of traditional when you actually taste the beer. Yeah, it's not as uh, and it peppery. doesn't have as much of that green coffee bean no. either. It's like an espresso type cold brew coffee or something on the aftertaste. Yeah. Especially aftertaste is lots of coffee. Very nice, medium, silky, chewy mouthfeel. Oats are there for sure as well. Yeah, it's very creamy, oaty, silky. Mm. Definitely <laughs> really has nice. a very smooth bourbon character. Yeah, and the bourbon has it's vanilla, which is then amplified by the actual vanilla. In the there's beer. definitely also all, uh, kind cool of a burnt over. brown sugar kind of thing. Yeah, that might be from I the think. brown malt. Yeah, it has like that brown bready yeah. type flavor. Yeah, it's kind of like, it tastes like classic British American or imperial style meeting American imperial style. Almost. Mm. And I think that's because of the brown malt. Because a lot of times when I get that in Imperial Stouts, I usually think like British style, Imperial Stout, yeah. Russian Imperial Stout type, type thing and not the American inspired no. one. But it's really nice. It's really nice. But I don't think it's as mind-blowing as I remember when I had it at MBCC. I didn't have, have it. I so, back in the day. But I know it's but really again, hyped. Lots of other things has happened since then. Yeah. So. yeah. But it's still fucking phenomenal. It's fabulous but, beer. Yeah. Creamy, but it, soft. I, uh, as very I remember chocolate. it, people were saying it was very cinnamon forward and very bourbon forward. Mm. Is that right? Yeah, it's it is that direction, but not completely crazy forward. No, no. It's restrained, so you still taste the base beer with roasted maltiness, uh, dark kind of chocolate flavor, burnt notes, as you said, roasty burnt notes. There's also an OT kind of a dark then, fruity thing, maybe from the barrel. It's kind of a tanniny esque mm -hmm. note. And um, yeah, bourbon, oaky, woodiness. Yeah. But it's Something insanely else. drinkable, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For 10 .5. Yeah, it just goes down yeah. very, very easily. Yeah, it's actually quite dangerous. It's quite nice. <laughs> mm. I'm thinking like a 94, 95. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking 95. Yeah, I'll join you. Yeah, 95. 95. It's actually it's world class. <laughs> like, First it's, beer of the night, yeah. almost. Oh, I mean, kind of. it's 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 really really nice imperial yeah. style. That's barrel aged with all these flavors, but it would be even better if they popped even more. Yeah, I think it's it two years since they brewed it the last time. Mm. Was it two thousand and fifteen? I can't remember. So maybe you know they have to dial it a bit in in the cans. Like. Yeah, and dial it, change everything a bit. It's an yeah. interesting label here. There's a bearded lady on it. It's just yeah. impossible to see on camera because it's one of these yeah. like it's black black on black, on black. <laughs> things. 
yeah. but uh, yeah, the the artwork direction they're going at the at Magic Org is awesome. But yeah. great stuff, great kind of birthday celebratory celebratory beer. So thanks for bringing it, Brett. No problem. Um, so yeah, ninety five from both of us yeah. guys. To let us know what you thought of the two thousand and seventeen bearded yeah. lady dessert edition. If you had a chance to try the version with cinnamon, coffee, vanilla, chocolate, or was it coffee as well? No, no, no. Just chocolate and vanilla, but it has a cold brew coffee type flavor. It does have kind of a, uh, but of, yeah, as we said, it could be from the cinnamon. Maybe as well. Giving kind and of a peppery uh, yeah. coffee-esque yeah. flavor. But uh, let us know what you thought of it, guys. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.